What if I told you that an AI can now create your entire monthly social media report in three minutes instead of three hours? And it looks so professional that your clients or your boss will think that you hire an expensive marketing agency. The thing is that every month you struggle creating those social media reports. You spend forever attempting to create charts that don't look like a kindergarten maker. And honestly, the report still looks kind of simple. Meanwhile, you see other content creators and business owners with these gorgeous professional reports and you're thinking, how do they make it look so professional? Well, here's a total game changer I have discovered through my research. There is this new tool called Vinyash AI that can literally build your entire social media report for you. It creates beautiful visualizations such as insights and puts everything together in a professional report that it looks like it came from a top marketing agency. The people using this successfully aren't data analysts or design experts. They are regular content creators, small business owners, and social media managers who just want their reports to look amazing without stress. So today I'm going to show you exactly how Vinyash AI can transform your monthly report from a difficult chore into something that you actually feel proud of. By the end of this video you will know how to create social media reports that impress everyone and take you less than 5 minutes to make. Plus, I will show you the secret features that make your reports actually useful, not just pretty. So grab your laptop, pull up your social media analytics, and let me show you the first step that is going to completely change how you think about reports. And the first thing that you have to do to create your account is just go and click in the link in my description. Over here you can go ahead and then just sign up for free or log in into your account. And once you do that, it's going to send you to this homepage. And once you're in this homepage, what you have to do is just go to the section of Design AI. It's already a section where we can go and generate our designs with the help of AI. So we have the auto, we have the infographics, the design, social media, documents, proposals, charts, and HR. So as you can see, inside of each section, we have different options that we can use. And to create our social media report, I'm going to be actually using this section of charts. And over here, I'm just going to be adding my prompt, so a social media report. And as you can see, we have different options. And for mine, I'm just going to leave it on out. It's from here where instead of starting in a blank page, wondering where do I even start, Vinyash instantly creates a professional template that you can use right away. You'll get a clean, ready-made graph that it's easy to adjust. And it's like having a designer hand you a complete structure that it's already halfway done. You just need to tweak it to fit your needs. So we're just going to go and click in generate chart. So now it already generates this design that we can even go ahead and personalize. And to do this, we're just going to go and click in personalize. Now it's over here where we can go ahead and add all of the details from our chart. First of all, by changing the colors of the design so they fit with our brand. And if you already have a brand, you can just go ahead, go to the section of brand kit. And over here, you can just go and click in complete your brand kit. It is from here where if you already have a website, you can just go and then just add it over here. As you can see, it's going to go and then just grab your brand kit from that website. But if you don't, don't worry because you can also go and configure it manually. Over here, you can go ahead and add your logo, your brand icons, your colors, and even brand images. In this section, we can go ahead and then just choose the type of fonts that we want for our brand kit. And this is a very useful tool because in this way, if we just want to use these designs and then just customize it, this tool will customize them right away. So once you set up all of these, you just click in add new brand kit, you add the name of it, and then you click in create. And if you don't want to use a brand kit, you can even go and then just use the color palette from Vinyash. So you can just click in see all, and then from here, you can just go and click in any of it that you like, and then you can just go and click in shuffle and it's going to change the colors on our design so as you can see we have that one we have those ones and we can even try this one i think i really like it, this one so i'm going to stay with this and if you keep clicking on the same color palette it will give you different options so i'm just going to go keep shuffling i think i like it the first one so i'm just going to click in this arrow to go back and then just use this one and i'm just going to stay with this one now we can even go ahead and then change the basic stuff of our design we can go ahead and change the fonts we can select another font that is more visually appealing so something like this and do the same for the rest of our design. We can just go and make it exactly the same. Now, I know that we already got this chart with the design and maybe it doesn't even fit what we want to express of our own data. But what I really like about Binjash is that it makes it so simple for us to go ahead and then just change this chart. And to do this, I'm just going to go to the section of graphics and then from here we can go ahead and then just add any kind of graphic that we want to add for our own information. So if you want to go and keep the same style, you can go ahead and then just choose this one. But as you can see, we have so many options to go ahead and create our charts. We have statistics, in lines. you can go ahead and select any of these ones and then just add it in this section that we have over here. So for me, I think I will be using the line one since I feel like it looks very cool. And I'm just going to go and then click in spine line. 
And then from here is where we can go ahead and add our own data. So let's say that over here, we're just going to go and change in terms of views. I'm also going to go and change the years. So we're going to say May 2025. And you can go ahead and change the rest of the information. But something I really like is that you can even go and import your CSV or your files. So if you already have all of your data in a CSV, you just have to go browse your files and then add it right away. And then from that information being judged, we generate your chart. So then you don't have to go and make it twice. You can just go and upload your CSV. And in case that when you add your data, you don't really like how it looks, you can still go ahead and then just change it again. If you don't want this one, let's say, I don't really like how my data looks with this one. I want to change it to the same one that we have in the columns. So then I just go and then change it. And it will only take one more click to make all of these changes. So something like that or like this or this one. And then if you want to go ahead and change the colors, we're just going to go to this section. And then from here, we can go ahead and customize it and then just change the color. So instead of this one, I want to use this blue or even add a different color. I can even go ahead and then just pick a color and I will go and use the same one from here. So I can go and then just do that and then just select my color from here. So you have a lot of options for that as well. And something that I really like is that we can even go and then just select the colors from our brand kit, the one that I mentioned earlier. You just go, you just select your brand kit and then it's going to take the colors from there. And that is for the chart style. We also have the grid lines, the axes, so you can go ahead and change the fonts. So let's say I want this one or this one. You can just go ahead and do it and change the size of the font as well. And you can also go ahead and change the tags and the layer. And I will just keep this chart instead of the one that we already have. And there we go. And then just adjust it so it fits better on my design. Now, here's where it gets even more amazing because you can let the AI suggest the best chart types for your data and it literally knows which visually will work best for the different metrics. And to do this, we're just going to be using the help of the AI tools that Binjash offers. And to go ahead and get this amazing feedback, we're just going to use the section of design feedback. And it's from here where the AI will give me some feedback that will help my design to look even better. And over here, we got some different observations. So we can go ahead and I like the chart with the data. We can also go and order the chart chronologically logically and remove the future dates and it also recommends us to delete the platform icons that are incorrect. So I think that I really agree with all of these ones. It's something that we actually need to change. And then what I really like about this is that once you have finished your design and then you're not sure if you should add stuff or just change things, you can always go and use this AI to give you a second look and then just make the changes if you want to. Otherwise, you can also just go and then leave it as you like it. So for me, this is a very useful tool. And we can also go ahead and use all of these AI tools on our design. So another one that I really like is a fill content over here is where we can go ahead and then just make some prompt and then the AI will help us to regenerate our design and then give us a better option so to give an example of this I'm just gonna be adding this prompt so add more images and colors to make it attractive and I can go and click in fill content and then from here it's gonna take a few seconds to generate something like I asked for and here it is the result that we got so we got more colors in the back this image here and then it actually makes it more attractive and more visually appealing so you can just go and click in personalize if you want to use that one or you can even go and then just click again in fill content to get some other options in case that you want to and I think that it's a very useful tool when it comes to make changes in a very simple way and I'm just gonna go click X and then I can click and rule out and I'm just gonna keep mine because I really like it mine and we can go ahead and try the other features over here another amazing tool that it already has is a generate image and this is a very useful AI when it comes for AI generated images so in case that I want to generate something very specific I can just go and add my prompt over here and select my styles so let's say that I want to add an image for this uh, design and I want to add a woman using social media. I can just go add my prop and then I'm just going to keep it on cinematic since I think it's going to give the quality that I want and we can click in generate images. And here we have some different options that we can use. And as you can see, the AI makes so good images. So we have all of these options. So let's say that I want to use this one. I can just go ahead and then just adjust it to add it into my design. So something like this works very well and I can add it on it. Another feature that I have never seen in an other design tool is the generate icons section. And it's over here where we can go ahead and then change the icons that we have over here or just create our own ones. So as you can see, we have all of these styles and you can go ahead and then just add your prop of what you want to create and then the AI will generate it. So over here, I asked for a phone and it gave me all these options. So I can just go click on it and then just add it in the design where I want. But when it comes to social media icons, I will recommend you to go to the section of icons and then just grab the icons from the social media section since it will be easier than generate them with AI. But in case that you want to generate your own or something very specific, you can just go and do it with the AI. 
And one of my favorite ones is the improve text option. And for this one, what we have to do is just go ahead and then just select the text that we want to improve. So for me, I think this, and I just want to short it. But as you can see, you can even go and ask the AI to write or improve the text, make it more professional, or even correct the spelling and the grammar. And as you can see, we already got a different version that it's more short and it still have the same message. So I'm just gonna click and replace section. And what I can do over here now is just go ahead, make this one, and then make this even bigger so it stands out better. And you can do exactly the same for the text over here. So just go select your text, improve text, and then just change any section of your text that you want to. And for the last AI tool that we have over here is the translate text. And this is an AI that will help us to translate our whole design into a different language. So as you can see, we have all of these languages that we can go ahead and then just translate our same design without making our design completely from scratch. And on the other sections, we have the templates, we have elements that we can add. We also have our text if we want to add different text. We have the line and shapes if you want to add them as well, the icon section that I showed you before, where we have the social media, but we also have this section of colors and this one. So you can just go and scroll and then just choose from all of these amazing options. We also have the section of images in case that you want to go and then just choose from the library if you don't want to generate it with AI. So you can go and then just search for it and then you can use your favorite one. Then we also have the graphic section that I showed you earlier and the map section as well. And over here, we just have the previous projects that we generated. Listen, I know that some of you are thinking, but what if the AI gets my data wrong? Or what if I don't understand the insights? I totally get those worries. Every successful social media manager started with the same concerns about reporting. The difference is that they found tools that made the process easier and more reliable. And now you also have the same opportunity. And before you start worrying about connecting accounts or leading complicated analytics, let me put your mind at this. Vinyoshi AI is designed for regular people who just want to understand their social media performance better. So if you can post on Instagram, you can definitely create professional reports with this tool. No complicated analytics training, no design skills required, no expenses of your subscriptions, just a simple automated report creation that anyone can master immediately. Now, if you're also wondering how you can go ahead and create your social media posts with this amazing tool, I have put together all you need to know to create it with the help of AI. And the video is in the link on my description. The world of AI powered social media tools, it's advancing so quickly. And the people who start using these tools now are going to have such an advantage over their competition. Every month you wait, it's another month you could be creating professional reports that showcase your success and help you make better strategic decisions. I'm so excited to see what amazing reports you create. Drop a comment below and let me know which social media platform you're most excited to analyze with Binjaj AI. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a great day.